Finally this week, hundreds of Israelis, including many Holocaust survivors, gathered in the northern city of Haifa to mark International Holocaust Remembrance Day. It also marked the 70th anniversary of the liberation of one of the most notorious concentration camps. 80,277. That's the number Nazis tattooed on 95-year-old Shoshana Colmer's arm at Auschwitz decades ago. I had typhus and was on my feet the whole time. I had a lung infection and a fever. I went to work because I didn't want to die by gas. I said, what will be, will be. If I die here, I die. But I didn't want to die by gas. And thank God, I stayed alive. Colmer gathered with about 100 Auschwitz survivors in Haifa to commemorate the liberation of the camp where she spent more than a year and a half. She remembers the day the Red Army came to set them free. A rabbi came and he said, we are free and we can go home. But who had a home? They killed all my family, my brother and sisters. At Auschwitz itself, some 3,000 people commemorated the 70th anniversary of the liberation of the extermination camp. The Nazis murdered about a million Jews in Auschwitz-Birkenau, along with 100,000 other prisoners of war. As time goes on, there are fewer and fewer survivors. This may be the last big anniversary many of them will commemorate. They want to make sure that the horrors of the Holocaust will be remembered even after they're gone. Many of them, when we talk to them, their greatest fear is that people really won't believe what happened to them and that they'll forget. David Parsons, spokesman of the International Christian Embassy Jerusalem, spoke at the Haifa event. Christians need to help preserve this legacy. We need to fight uh, anti-Semitism. We need to help the survivors that are still around us. We need to help Jews who are facing anti-Semitism, like in France and Ukraine and other places, to come home to Israel. When you hear stories like that, and there are millions more, you understand why the Jewish people say, never again.